Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Planet Robobot. In the last episode we did levels 1 and 2 of Resolution Road. In this episode we're going to be moving on to level 3 and basically just doing another two levels. That level over there looks kind of interesting though so huh, maybe we'll be able to see something interesting over there. Anyway without any further delay let's get on with the level. So I forget offhand like what the theme of this like. It's going to be in the screw. And last time I said it was the leg? No. No, I'm wrong, actually. It's not. Oh, boy. Check this out. The most overpowered power in the game. Why? Well, it might not be apparent at first, but once we get, like, to a mini-boss or something, I'll show you why it's the most overpowered power in the game. Easily the best. Easily. Like, I wouldn't put Parasol or ESP... Or, uh... That's what it's called, ESP, right? Yeah, I wouldn't put ESP above it or anything. Also, this level introduces these little, uh, like, swirling balls of something. Yeah, these things. It's weird. But, uh, you can't destroy those. That's, like, a stage hazard, so watch out for those. So this is our first time using Wheel, so it's kind of just giving us, like, a little course to do. There's probably, like, a sticker or something over here. Yo, wow, rare sticker! And of course you're invincible while going through with the wheel. You aren't invincible while you turn. However, there is a kind of condition to that, and we'll get into that once we uh, get to the mini boss that I'm pretty sure is somewhere in here. There ought to be, at least. But I'm not getting rid of this power. Probably not. Yeah. It's, it wants you to change? Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. So let's get up here. The mini boss should be right up here. Alright, let's show you why this is so overpowered. Yeah. This is why it's overpowered. While you are kind of turbo boosting, you're invincible. And what I mean by turbo boosting is basically you're moving faster than normal. So this is like normal speed. I should have gotten him. So uh, this is like normal speed, but you can hold down down and then turbo turn and then go like turbo and whenever you turn like that you're you can turn like this where it's basically like a pivot turn kind of and another way you can activate this is just turning twice in a row just going back and forth like this um, and that makes you invincible you're literally invincible while you're doing that you cannot be hit and so it makes pretty much every boss in the game kind of a joke except for ones where you can't really have where it doesn't matter what you're using I guess uh, but that guy that we actually just killed had a new power called Poison. We probably should have grabbed it, but we're probably going to see an enemy that gives it to us in any way, so we should be good. Alright, so what do we got? Heart Spade Diamond. Okay, Heart Spade Diamond. Remember that. This is just like the, uh... Just like the other thing. Okay, here we go. So here we can get Poison. This is really cool. It's kind of a... Oh, Spade Diamond. Spade Diamond. Gotta remember that. It's kind of the replacement for water, but it's a bit of its own thing as well. Because if you dash, you do the water move. Dash and B does the water move from uh, Return to Dreamland and uh, Triple Deluxe. Up B does the water move as well. So those two are returning things, but everything else is really different. You see that you have these pools here. If enemies walk on it, they get continuously hurt. If they walk in this, like, this poison gas you can blow out, they get hurt. Um, this move, which is just a quick tap of B, if you hold it, it does that. Um, that will lay down that. You can jump in the air and do it and do, or press down in B and do that. Uh, you can do the dash thing in the air. I think that's pretty much covering everything. It's a really cool, it's like, this is another one of the really good abilities, but you have to be good with the ability. It probably has like one of the highest skill ceilings, I'd say. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, you can tilt a toxic tower, sticky strike, toxic ball, dash and quickly tap B in midair. Huh? Oh yeah, you can throw a little toxic ball if you quickly press it, but if you hold it down you do this. Uh, is that all? Yeah, that's it. Just two pages. Oh, we can read it, I guess, since it's new. This is a rather dangerous ability for all life forms, organic and otherwise. It can be used to attack enemies with corrosive liquid that contains damaging subs substances. Uh, I think Kirby's really a danger to all life anyway, regardless of whether he's poisoned Kirby or not. 
Boom. So you can see he'll just... Well, that actually just knocked him out. So uh, we have Spade now. And then we want Diamond. Okay, we chose the right path, so we're good. But yeah, this is a pretty good ability. Uh, it can work out pretty well. Oh, and if you're next to an enemy, you can do a thing. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta show it. Bop, 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 bop. Boom. So it's kind of like f Final Cutter if you will. So now we have the diamond. Star has nothing to do with anything. Look, he just flew into the poison and killed himself. That's what I mean. It's a kind of a cool ability. You can trap opponents and it's really good for bosses because you can do gradual damage to them while hitting them at the same time. It's kind of good. Please let this be the first one. Thank you. I, th I just thought we went in quite a bit in the level without getting one, so it was a little weird. But yeah, that explains poison. Nah, now we have a mech, so we don't even get to show it off that much. I think this is where we might get stone? Yes, here we go. So all this really does is give you like super punches, boom. And then you can do like the pound thing. That's about it. It's cool. And usually it's, well, pretty much whenever you get stone as mech Kirby, you'll be pushing around these things with it. Uh, I don't think there's a point where those show up and you don't have stone, Kirby. Oh, I messed that one up. Whoopsie-daisy. Guess we won't be getting that one up. Uh, okay, so we need to get that. Oh, thank God that didn't, like, move it into a spot we couldn't get it. So just hit that over. That should cover the switch and let us get the second code cube. Easy as that. Pretty simple. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, press and hold B. Okay, so I was missing something. So you're blocking if you just press and hold B, and then you can just punch. Oh wow, you're block while your mech Kirby just goes into like this. But you can hold it down to do a different kind of block. That's weird. I wonder if there's anything like mechanically different with them. I'm gonna be careful with hitting the, these. You'll never know when it's actually gonna like mess you up to where you can't get something. So we're gonna look a little forward here. Not sure why we'd wanna hit this forward, but we will. Okay, it just gives us a sticker. And then we can put this away. So like, okay, I'll show it off, I guess. You can't go in the store with Mech Kirby. You actually have to get out. So that's what the size of the doors have to do with anything. But moving on, we have Jet. I think I'll take this. Or what, was this Jet? Yeah, it's Jet. Because Jet's pretty cool. Really good movement. And I love good movement. Oh hey, here's the last code cube. Easy as that. Easy! That wasn't really hidden at all. wonder why that was even like... used like that. There's poison if we wanted it again. Kinda wish I could get a uh, wheel back, to be honest. But beggars can't be choosers, I guess. And there's the end of the stage. Easy as that. We did get a rare sticker too, so... We're set. All right, what are we getting here? Uh, two. I think that's a two. So one thing I did want to talk about in this video, since I just noticed it in editing like earlier today, I think my mic is giving out. Like it's only like, ugh, what was it? It's like two and a half years old. The first time I used it was at the end, of the very last episode of Chrono Trigger. Uh, actually I used it in like a Pokemon Emerald video, but. Chrono Trigger was probably the better example of me first using it. Rare Hydra sticker from Air Ride. Uh, have we still not gotten those stickers that I want to show? I wasn't paying attention. Dang. But, um, you might notice, like, a slight crackle every few seconds in my audio, especially if you're wearing headphones. I notice it. And I might have to get a new mic to replace this one because I don't like that. And I was like, this is just like a $50 snowball mic. Like, it's nothing special, but I figured it lasts more than two years. I mean, come on now. Got another one of these car levels. But yeah, I might like be spending like $70 or something on a mic. Maybe sometime soon. Maybe not. Maybe I'll wait for it to get worse before I do it. Because... New music. Because like, I'm... I don't personally think I'm big enough to warrant spending $70 on a mic, but I don't know. Maybe it's time for the upgrade. It's been a while. Uh, but we have a new ability here. It's probably my least favorite ability in the game. Uh, basically, you can do weird things. 
There's nothing really makes sense. It's just like, like none of them have good hit boxes. You can blow up balloons and you'll sometimes get like Meta Knight and something. You can get some cool balloons if I keep trying. There's a ball. Yeah, there's Meta Knight. It's pretty cool. But like, other than that, it's this, this ability kind of sucks. You do have fire with it though. So you can use that whenever you want to. Have I shown really everything off? Back salt? Okay, so you hold down B and press like back. But like, when is that gonna help you that much, really? Fire hoop jump, ball balance, baton. Fire baton. Okay, so just press up and B a lot. Okay. Down and up, trampoline. Okay, that's interesting. It's hard to do though. During trampoline, press up and B in midair. Okay, so you can kind of do it twice. Interesting. Press and hold B, and that's it. Yeah, this is Circus. This was introduced in Triple Deluxe, I want to say. Uh, I don't think it was actually in... Oop, crash. I don't want to say it was in Return to Dreamland because I don't think it was. Uh, crash is just a string uh, screen nuke. Um, so you can crash Fireball or you can charge it up. We'll charge it up just to show it off. <sighs> Can't charge it up anymore? Nope. And that basically destroys everything on the screen. Probably knock out a mini boss in one hit as well. It's kind of weird. But I like it more than Circus, that's for sure. It's... Ugh. It's just... Circus is so unintuitive because you do this dash attack. You're like, oh, I want to I wanna go forward, right? Well, no, because you move backwards after going forward, you see? And we'll go forward, but then you just bounce back to where you started. That's my least favorite thing. If it just jumped forward, kind of like the uh, the fiery one, then I'd be completely okay with it. He says as he kills the cutter enemy. I should have taken cutter. I'm, I'm not okay with this ability, though. Not my fave. Could get archer. What's down here? Death. Here, let's take mirror, then. I can, I can deal with Mirror, because it has a cool moving animation. And then we just get sniped. Sniped like the nerd we are. Oh my god, I'm eating it. I'm not doing well. I gotta, I gotta check under it. Nope, doesn't look like there's anything. Though it does look like you can go into the background. Oh, here we go. Boom. Here we are. Okay, so there should be... There's a sticker. There's the way forward um why the way forward in that case I think I'm missing something out here another way forward okay so they're both just the way forward this one's probably just going to be an extra room or something for a code cube hopefully we get a code cube because I have no idea why we haven't found any yet this late in oh hey giant dice this is fun We'll be able to deal with those later as a mech, as you can probably guess. Have we shown Leaf yet? Leaf comes back from Return to Dreamland. I'm not sure if it was in Triple Deluxe, because I don't remember it in that. That's interesting. Again, not one of my favorite abilities. Hoop! Can we, is there like a Leaf Guard? Yeah, there is. Interesting, I guess. But you can't dodge with this Leaf Guard. That's weird. Um, you can do like a little uppercut of grass whenever you can see me. Just by up and B. Down B does nothing. Quickly tapping B lets you throw these little grass pellets. Oh. Rare sticker. We've gotten a rare sticker in several stickers, but no... Uh, no code cubes yet. That is kind of worrying. You can hold down B to do this, like, constant tornado. And I really don't know anything other than that. Let's see. What do we got here? Um, we... Dash and B. Okay, so you can do like a little dash kind of thing. The same thing as Leaf Swirl, really. Down B in midair. Okay, so that's kind of like a uh, bird from other games. Uh, leaf Hide. Leaf Reveal. Okay, yeah, so there's not really much to Leaf. It's just kind of... It's kind of like bird. If that's even the name of the ability, but... 
it's nothing special really. So we have a new mechanic. Kirby's carrying a Game Boy. That's gonna control the uh, the Kirby in the background. And he's gonna do the same things that you do. Uh, but he cannot fly. Well, I mean, I guess we can't fly either. Here, let's, nah, I was gonna line us up, but here. Usually, however, it lines you up naturally is the way you wanna do it. Go through here, you can jump over that. It's just a little bit of a puzzle. I like it. I find this enjoyable. Looking at two Kirbys, double platforming. That'll line us up again. This is usually for something optional, but I... Oh, he's gonna die. All right, well, there he goes. That's gonna explode. That's for our first code cube. Oh, wow, we are way deep in the level. And we're just getting the first code cube. That's interesting. You are, like, semi-invincible while you do the leaf tornado, though. Okay. Run away. Oh, and also something I do want to mention. UFO is in this game, but only if you connect a Kirby amiibo. This we just really have to wait out. Uh, if you... Oh, I thought they were going to bounce again. Well, I guess not. If you put in a Kirby series Kirby amiibo, the one where he's sitting on the star, not the Smash Bros. one... You will get... Oh, the code cube's over there. You will get UFO. That is the only way to get UFO in the game, unless you 100% the entire file, in which you will get the option to go to, like, a copy ability area in the uh, overworld map, and then UFO will be in there. But those are the only two ways. You can't find it naturally in the level. There's even a literal UFO enemy later in the game, but he doesn't give you UFO, so... It's kind of weird. Anyway, we have another mech. And of course, we can knock over these dice. If it does land on the one, then you will get an extra life. Otherwise, you just get as many heart and as many stars as it shows on it. I don't like beam. <laughs> I really don't like beam in terms of, uh, in terms of, uh, robot. No, oh, we're getting out already. Okay, we're probably coming back for that. Don't you worry. And I'll take, uh... That, that just permanently opens it? That was kind of a weird thing to have us go out of our way to do. But I guess we just had to press the switch. Get a one. Nope. Just two stars. But it gave it a gave, it gave us a one-up anyway. So I'll take it. Stationing the mech once again. Alright, what do we got to do this time? Run under here. Stealthy. Press the button. Run back. Okay, this is probably all optional then. You can go through this without the mech. I mean, I guess that's a kind of obvious, but... Eh. I want to I wanna get a, like a 1-up from one of these. Like I said, 1-ups are plentiful. There we go. Gives you a 1-up. And 5. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, and that was just to get through this and get a... That was just for a sticker. All of that. Oh, I guess you take them farther in. Okay, never mind. So it's probably going to end up giving us our third code cube from it then. Uh, sure, I'll take ice cream. Why not? Ooh, I kind of wanted Spark. Uh, I'll take Fire, actually. We haven't seen Fire since the first level. And it's one of the better ones. It's kind of cool. Especially since you can get both sides. Alright. Oh, this is going to be hard, guys. What are we going to do? He's getting us. Oh, guess we'll just have to... He died from the afterburn. Guess we'll take Cutter, then, since it's kind of hinting for us to get Cutter. Oh, so we can now hit these uh, billiards back. These pool balls. Boom. Now it'll give us the last code cube. Yeah, there it is. All the code cubes of 2-4. Just like that. And we have some more kibble blade. Well, I guess they're not called kibble blades. The big one's called kibble blade. Not as bad of a name as Mr. Duder. Not really. All right, let's see if we can get this. Hey, there it is. The perfect. Not even bad. Now it'll give us another another sticker. We got a lot of stickers in this uh, this episode. Two rare stickers, a bunch of normal ones. Not bad at all. I'll take it. All right, let's see what we get. We have... Kind Block from Kirby Star Stacker. Interesting. An off game. Sir Kibble. Okay, so that's what they're called. And they're from Nightmare and Dream... Wait, really? Nightmare and Dreamland? Well, then weren't they in Adventure as well? Maybe this is art from Nightmare and Dreamland, I guess. 
Because Nightmare in Dreamland is a remix of Kirby Adventure. Well, it's a remake. We got Marks from Kirby Superstar. That was the final boss. A little bit more intimidating than that, though. Uh, Nightmare in Dreamland Chili. Okay, so yeah, it's giving us all the adventure ones. I guess, does it include adventure in the stickers or not? I guess it must just have Nightmare in Dreamland. And the balloon from Canvas Curse, because balloon was an ability where you could just float. I, I believe, at least. Maybe it was just called float or something. Oh, this world only had uh, four levels. Wait, no, the last one only had four levels, too. That's right. Well, that's going to unlock the boss, but since we got all the code cubes, it's, it's also going to unlock extra two. Uh, I wonder, are the are the extra levels, like, just six? Yeah, it's just labeled six. It's not according to, like, the world. Because I was going to think the other one was one, but no, nope. Nope, they're both six. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to be doing the extra level... And, oh, this one has two code cubes. So we're going to be doing the extra level and the boss. So I'll see you all then, and goodbye.